So Shortcut is a free and open source cross-platform video editor for your Windows, Mac or Linux operating system. So let's see how we can download and install Shortcut video editor. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Shortcut video editor. And the first link which will appear here will be from shortcut.org. So I'm going to just click on this link. And once you click on this shortcut.org link, it's going to open this kind of uh, website. Now straight away you will be able to see this click to download link here otherwise you can click on the download tab on the top and once you click on the download tab on the top you will be able to see uh, this kind of window. Now here you have two options windows installer and then you can also download the zip file for the windows installation right. So I'm going to download the windows installer and I'm going to choose this link which is under github. So I'm going to just click on windows installer under github which is going to start the download of this shortcut windows exe file. So once this shortcut exe file is downloaded I'm going to just click on this file and then minimize the browser and first of all you will see this warning so just click on yes here which is going to start the installer. So here you need to agree with the license terms and conditions. So if you want to read those license terms and conditions, just read them and then click on I agree. And then on the next window, you will see the default location where your shortcut video editor will be uh, installed. So this is the default location. You can also change this location by clicking on the browse button. But if you don't have the good reason to change this location, you just need to uh, leave it as default and then click on next and on the next window you have the installation options so it's going to remove old program files it's going to install the program files and then it's going to create the startup menu shortcut if you want to create this desktop shortcut also which means this kind of desktop shortcut you can check this checkbox and then you can click on install which is going to start the installation of this shortcut video edit so you can see you just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. If you want you can also click on show details button and it's going to show you what processes are going on during the installation of your shortcut video editor. And now I can see that this shortcut video editor shortcut is created on my desktop. When I click on the window start icon I can also see this icon here which is created and you can see the process is completed now so I can close this window and then I can launch shortcut by clicking on this icon so you can see the shortcut uh, video editor is starting on my windows operating system and now the shortcut video editor has been launched so you can see the interface of shortcut it looks like this if you want to import some file you can click on open file option and then you can choose your video files. I'm going to choose this video file and then click on open which is going to open this file. Now in order to add this file to your track bar you need to click on the playlist option and then click on plus button here which is going to add this to your playlist here and when you select this uh, option from the playlist and then click on this plus button on uh, this menu then it's going to add this uh, video to your track right so this video is added to my track and now I can edit this video for example if I want to just cut something from here I can do it and then remove this uh, portion from here and then once I'm happy with my editing I can export this so there is this option which is called export so you just need to click on the export button and then you have all these options here I generally choose uh, H264 high profile option from here and then I can choose the advanced option and I can choose the resolution and the format of the file and the other output options from here and once you are happy you can click on the export option and you will uh, provide the destination so I'm going to just say final uh, cut here 
this will be the name of my file which I want to export and then click on save here and you, you will see that the export of this file will start and you can see the percentage of export so once this percentage reach to the 100% mark this means that your file has been exported and you can use that file after that right so this is how you can install and use shortcut on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video